Temple with the prospect of having to take out something similar to deny Hetter a chance at 64, and he can't do it. 97. He can't do it, and now Damon Hetter, potentially two or three darts away from the match. Lovely start. Double eight. Double four, then, for the match for Damon Hetter. To reach round two, a.k.a. the last 64 of the Players' Championship here in Leicester. To stay in the Players' Championship in Leicester. Double 16 left. He can't afford to miss. And he has missed. And he knows how important that was. He knows that that now leaves him at the mercy of the Australian And no mercy yeah, shown shot. by I Damon Hetter. It was close for six legs, it really was. But then Damon Hetter ran three legs straight to get home. 6-3. And he moves on into the last 64. So it's Hetter 6, Hempel 3. Well, that's enough to give Lee Evans a decent chance of sending the match 16. all the way to a decider. Only going to get a dart at the ball, probably, but that treble does help. It gives him double 13. 68. And now Shanghai on the 20s for Williams. Oh dear. Yes, well, I think his reaction was similar to mine, to be fair. And now Evans will have to try and clean up that 13. Will it be unlucky for Williams? 88. Well, a, a choice here, five double four, you would think, but other choices are available. So five, four, double four. Double two. Nine. Well, that might be the end for Evans. He won't want to give any pro three clear darts at double 16 for the match, really. Can Williams wrap this up? It's not been convincing. But that is. Game shot. And, and the in the end, Louis Williams, who was behind for much of the match, has won the match. He's defeated Lee Evans by six legs to four to earn a matchup with Damon Hetter in the last 64. From it. But someone has got up there ahead of him with a German flag and is ready to plant it there to win 6 5. You would think from here, but it's not over yet. Could incorporate the ball. No, nope. gamble pays off. Leaves 81 after three visits to the board. Rids is going to get to a finish. He's going to get oh, to a very similar one. Well, full credit to him there because he could have felt this is the end and folded his hand, but he did the exact opposite. And now it's two finishes in the 80s. Either or both could end with a bullseye shot. This one does. 44. Well, he had a near miss on double 16 for the match in the couple of legs ago, but that was not a near miss, was it? Oh, Game my word. Callan Rids has absolutely pickpocketed this match. Brilliant finish. In the back end there. With 86. After Petrexco had missed two for the match, and in the end, Rids has pinched it by six legs to five. An epic in Players' Championship 15. Well, on the back of this fag packet that I've just done some numbers, I believe that Keen Barry is averaging around about 97. the 117 mark against the darts in this game. Two 14 darters, a 13 darter, and a 10 darter. And that is going to make it very, very difficult 63. for anybody just to hold the throw. And if you don't hold your throw, you're going to lose. Another there. Would have left double 14. Now it leaves 100. Barry a chance at 97 to wrap it up. Tops then. Double 10. For a Game comprehensive and, and very, very impressive victory. It featured a 10 dart leg where he was seven darts into a nine dart bid. Keen Barry, but all in all, it's been highly impressive, a deserved win, and it sets up a matchup with Callan Ridge in the last.
13 data to wrap it up would really be in keeping with the whole display from the Australian. And just for a change this week, to see an Aussie win something. 16. Well, Williams is in the position here of needing about 250 with one wicket in hand. 65. Double eight for 6 1. Double four. Well, it was game all shot. about and Damon Hetter this game. He did all the scoring in the early part of legs. He did the vast majority of throwing at doubles at the end of legs. And it was just a question of how many it took him to hit the thing. One hundred and eighty. Forty eight. Nine double sixteen. Double eight. Game shot. Twelve dart leg to go off the back of the fourteen dart leg. So a couple of legs in a total of twenty six darts for the young Irishman Keen Barry. And because Barry, the way he's playing, you'd feel would leave something handy here. Well, that's good enough now to leave a two darter. So, Rids needs a three dart combination to stay in the match. Tops it is off the back of the one one two, and he's nearly hit it, but not quite. And not quite is not good enough. So Barry then should get a match dart here. He'll get two match darts at double ten, double five, seventy five. Two match darts come and go. For Keen Barry. And three no match score. saving darts come and go for Callan Rids, all at tops. So Keen Barry will get more match darts, another two at double two, and that's Game enough. And Puts an end to proceedings. Keen Barry with a dominant display, dismantles Callan Rids, beats him with something to spare, six legs to two of World Darts aren't here for one reason or another. And Hetta is one of the guys that you would expect to have every chance of taking full advantage, Paul, isn't it? Absolutely. I think there have been seasons gone by where some of the big hitters have decided to take a break ahead of something like a world match player. And then other people can earmark this as a turning point in their season or a chance to get another title just like this for Damon. Game and that's shot. a 164 to start. What a statement from the Heat. He could actually go back to back by winning today. And that's the thing you've got to do to be successful in top level darts and development to our darts yeah. as well. I mean, because he's still eligible little, for that. Short little hop, isn't it? But it's still the chore of going to the Whoa, airport, security, time taken, hotels, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's not a five minute job. One of the best relationships 60. he's got in his life is his suitcase. 48 here. Damon with this relationship with double 16 looking to cement it. And doing so Game very shot. neatly. And denying Barry a chance to level up at four each, going 5-3 up. And now Keen Barry's at the point of no return. Has to win three consecutive legs here to deny Damon Hetter. 93. That was a match-winning opportunity. A long-range one, albeit. But, but now he's going to set up something much better, 100. isn't he? He went for the 25 to leave 56, yeah. but... He has to wait for a second. It was a lucky ton in the end because once you've missed the ball and the outer ball, you're really in a random number between 1 and 20, aren't you, Paul, really? You are. Well, now he's on 11. But at least it's a match-winning double. And it's a one Game that he hits. And the Perfectly match. done. Damon Hetter gets his second win in two matches against Keen Barry in their careers. One. But it's Rock with the first chance in this game. 28. And an early reprieve for Brendan. Very much so. Two chances that came and went for Josh Rock. And now Dolan will have to find a trouble with one of his first two darts. Looking for four 19s to leave tops. Couldn't find 92. the treble with either darts one or two. And that may well cost him. It surely will. It does. Game shot. 
and Rock, despite missing a couple of darts at tops, was not messing around on double ten. And he gets the break he needs in the very first leg. Action here today. He, like Dolan, has not been taking the distance, but it hasn't stopped him from putting in some really good numbers. Just shy of 94 against Steve Beaton in the last round, beating the 27th seed. Jeffrey Sparadans taking out 6-2. And he was in trouble early against Richard Vainstra, but it didn't last long, just like that second. That's not in, so Rock with a chance. 140. For the single treble to double finish to go 4 2. Treble 18 for double. 50. And you just wonder did he miss that because of the good pressure applied by Brendan? You don't take the 164, but at least you leave the double with three in hand. And your opponent's thinking, Game do you know what? This one feels a bit more difficult than some of the games we've had in the past. Well, it doesn't feel like a game that's level. Remind me, Paul, I may be misremembering here, but I think you said that Damon Hetter had a great opportunity because the draw was against Sagansky. Did yeah. you not? A few what? Well, Indeed, I did. Hetter. <laughs> opportunity knocks for everybody. I'm teasing you, but I mean, the fact is that at this level, any player can beat any other player. The gap between, say, rank 30 and ranked 80 100. isn't as much as it was in 1995, is it? Say, when Taylor was in his absolute pomp. Now the gap is less. Lovely start. Tops, tops. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, oh that's yeah, absolutely sure. magnificent. What a finish that is. And that's what I'm saying. He can pull something right off the top shelf out of the blue. 54, followed by tops, tops. And Brendan Dolan can only just muster a rather watery smile because that's all you can do in those circumstances Dolan is thinking when he takes that previous leg do you know what I think I'm going to get you here Dolan here with an advantage of almost 200 points less these and he's reached the two third point of the leg Whoa, but he's got company but it's still six darts to get it done that's the glass is half full yeah. kind of statement. But that doesn't help. That does. The stage of the match where every dart is crucial. Not every visit, every dart. So he's left 44 after 12 darts. And at the start of the leg, he'd have taken that for, with no questions asked. Two darts at double here for Brendan Dolan for the match, unless he bodges this single. So this requires extra concentration in itself. And he's hit it. So two darts at double 16. And Brendan Game Dolan shot. survives a match. match dart at the bullseye to defeat Josh Rock for the very first time in six attempts. Josh Rock is knocked out. Brendan Dolan is the man through. Good to be able to win things with your B game. And so far, his B game has seen off Tebow Treacle, Sean Wilkinson, Matt Campbell, the Canadian number one, and Rusty Jake Rodriguez. One and he's hit his first competitive one. nine darts along the way. Oh, Johnny, what are you 55. doing? Five. Well, even if he'd hit the single 20 there, it wouldn't have helped him out. 98. He's never worried about the maths of the situation, Johnny, has he, to be honest? No. Keeps the game simple. And often, wrong. <laughs> Again, he's left double 17 for reasons that... Elude Game me, shot. but it does not matter. Double 16 is hit. It's a 14 data, and cool hand Luke Humphreys is 3 0 up. Oh, another. Would have left double 16. But this is the sort of stuff we've seen from Luke Humphreys on a pretty regular basis over the last two years. 79. We've had 10 Euro tours this year. Luke Humphreys has reached the final of of them. He's only won the one, but it's an astonishing, consistent spell. And Game this shot. is an astonishing performance from Cool Hand Luke. It's 5-2, and Johnny Clayton, who's been one of the best players of the day, is struggling to even live with him. To edge him in front here. Pretty close, though. 
And those two trebles make the difference. 130. Good counter from Luke Humphreys. He's left to finish. Ninety-nine. It probably feels he's got two visits from here, but the way he's playing, it could go in one. It'll have to be two visits, but he's going to leave himself very well placed, brilliantly placed. Double ten for the match, unless Johnny Clayton can conjure up something a little bit magical with three perfect darts and cannot do it. So Luke Humphreys match darts for his first ever win against Johnny Clayton 21. and a place in the semi-finals today. Double 10 it is. And cool Game hand, Luke, is too hot for Johnny Clayton. Wins comprehensively. Some flashy scoring from Clayton with half a dozen maximums, but it didn't put a dent in Humphreys, who has got home by six legs to three to move on into the semi-finals here in Leicester. Well, Dave Tisland doesn't need a break in this match in this semi-final, but I'm sure he could use one. It'd be quite handy. 138. And every chance here of a break because Searle well adrift. 99. And a possible 14 data for David Chisnell. He's had to settle for 15, but I'm sure he won't be too worried about that. Throwing it into the area between 8 and 16. And it's just found the 8. Which leaves him with one dart in his hand at tops. There Game it is shot. again. So Chisnell off to an absolute flyer here against Ryan Searle. And if Dave Chisnell chooses to go for the balls at the end of this combination, he could win this leg in a dozen darts. 13 and 15, the previous legs. Still on. And he will go for it now with his opponent on a finish, of course, if he'd hit the second treble. And then he hits the balls out the back end, regardless of not needing it for the finish. But nonetheless... Game shot. Ryan Searle, unperturbed by all that, takes the leg and gets back in the match. D6. Right in the middle of the match here. It's gone nip and tuck, really. Went ball for 32. Uh, 70 score. Double 16 left. 70. Well, a long range finish for Ryan Searle, too, to level the match. Can't go now, so Dave Chisnell has three in hand here. 41. At double 16, and that would give him a five foot advantage and a significant advantage at this stage of the match. There Game shot. And Chizzy with a 13 dart leg at a very important time in the match. Chizzy's still 54 in front, plus these. 100. It's a decent visit, leaves 1 2 1 after 9 here, Dave Chisholm. And that will be for the match when he returns for a 7 3 success. 60. And a place in the final against Dolan or Humphreys. Eighty-five. Thirty-six left. His favourite double, double eighteen. A perfect setup after a dozen darts. Dave Chisnell. Sixty. With three in hand here to wrap it up with four successive legs against Ryan Searle. And Game finishing shot. it off with Not the last dart in hand. And Dave Chisnell with a burst of four consecutive legs has beaten Ryan Searle. It was a good win. Both men playing extremely well early on, but in the end, Chisnell just too good for Ryan Searle, and he goes through with a 7-3 success.